What is up, Tumba? It's the captain here, Triple Storm. Today we're going to be talking about a rivalry which stems all the way from chapter one. And this rivalry is between the Moy and Mullins. These two guys have been at each other's throat, respectively, though. I have to give them credit for that. You know, there has been no, you know, disrespect between both of them, but they are they do have a higher level of respect for each other. But they do always try to see if they can one up each other to see who is better than who. As you guys know, Demoy was also one half of the Summer Skirmish series third place winners. And also, if you guys don't remember, H76 Mullins was also a participant in that in that uh, tournament. I believe he plays his team placed fourth, I believe. But nonetheless, guys, I, it is amazing to see that these two guys are still going at it, even in chapter two. It is still amazing to see that these two guys are still going at it even in chapter 2 and these guys have pretty much called out each other so definitely gonna see them going up against each other in 1v1 kingdom always want to see a match like that also guys i will be releasing the date for 1v1 kingdom very very soon so you guys can know if you guys are going to be participating you guys can know when you guys will be able to participate so you guys just look out for that and if you guys haven't seen the 1v1 kingdom trailer again this is what the trailer looks like so i'll just play that clip for you real quick So that's it guys that is the trailer for the 1v1 kingdom and for those of you guys who you know haven't already watched the news the under construction is also going to be taking place sometime this month and spilling over into december so if you guys are interested in that you guys can also go check out that video as well or if you guys want you guys can go check out that tournament as well highly recommend that you guys do it'll be a good opportunity for you guys to be to get your name out there on the esports scene so if you guys are looking for a lot of clout or you guys are looking to be noticed, that is a great way for you guys to do it. Which gets to my next topic, which is some of you guys who are pretty much underrated players and you guys say that you want to get noticed. Guys, my social media links are in the description, my Instagram, my Twitter, and also my Discord. So if you guys want, you guys can send me links to your channel or to one of your videos on any of those platforms and I will check them out and I'll also probably see if i can add you guys to any of these videos that i'm doing because youtube will be changing their terms of service on december 10th which means that i definitely have to get permission from content creators in order for me to put their their um you know content onto my channel so i definitely have to get confirmation from you guys before i even start putting your content out there so it wasn't like once in a while will I, where i will know somebody who's underrated or just somebody who i enjoy watching and i can just put their content there i have to definitely get confirmation from that person in order for me to put their content there so if you guys are interested in having your gameplay is being displayed in any of the upcoming news videos all you guys have to do is just hit me up on any of my socials again links will be in the description and you guys just let me know and i will be able to do that for you guys i'll respond to you guys as soon as possible and i'll let you guys know i'm trying to see if i can do this as a daily thing guys and um, i've been pretty busy so it's kind of not as easy as it sounds but 
Also, uh, there's not much happening. Not much people are streaming. Not much people are doing anything different. I think I've said this multiple times before, but everybody's trying to be like some other big um, international streamer in terms of how they look, how they sound, how they act, how they react. And it just kind of makes everybody just be kind of grouped as one. So because of that, there's nobody that really stands out, or at least there's not enough persons that stand out for me to you know pretty much just say all right this is somebody who i definitely want to showcase because this somebody this is somebody who's underrated and they have something very very unique about them aside from a few jamaicans like a handful of them that i can pick on but anyway guys moving on guys next bit of news which is concerning jbc and for those of you guys who don't know who jbc is he's pretty much one of the um, more popular well underground popular Jamaican Fortnite youtubers he doesn't do a lot of streams and he doesn't do a lot of uploads but when he does he does upload a few good things and he does stream a few good things and so some of you guys who you know pretty much check out all of the more popular mainstream Jamaican streamers people like gamer underscore 76 Shani Spooner um, 876 Reborn or any other Jamaican streamer that you guys check out. You guys might notice that he is also a mod in a few of those streams, including he good. I think he's a mod in Heem stream and a few other streams, Uchiha stream, etc. So there are a few streams that he is a mod in. You guys might see him pop up. He's pretty much all over the place, always showing his support and love to everybody else. But that's the size of the point right now, guys because jbc has officially joined onslaught gaming that's right he is now osg jbc kind of a weird day but nonetheless guys osg jbc right now guys and he pretty much told me in a short interview that i did that he has joined osg as a manager which for those of you guys who are unsure what manager roles are he's pretty much um like kind of like a spokesperson for them like an advocate Per se so he does have a few different roles depending on the contract that he's given I know that most likely he will be a spokesperson for them based on some of the things that he said spokesperson he might relay information to them um, try to see if he can organize tournament dates etc for them so those are things that I am pretty sure that is a part of his description and if there are any other things that are a part of his description then that would be between them and the contract that he has signed with their clan so i'm really happy for him to see him you know join yet again another clan he was yardis for a little while and then i i think he switched and he become he was a part of another clan and then he switched and now he's a part of osg clan so that is pretty good um he's a pretty experienced person in terms of what it means to be in a clan so i hope he brings a lot of his experience and expertise to the osg clan and also to see if he can help them to grow more as a more professional clan and to help them become as a more respective clan as you guys um might not have known there have been a few controversies surrounding the osg clan i've talked about that in a previous video if you guys want you guys can go watch that video by clicking the eye above this video you guys can go watch that video as well but Really good on your part, JBC. Congratulations on the move. Congratulations on the subscription and the sign into the new clan. And with that, guys, out of the way, now let's move on to another topic. Tournament organization. Now, I realize that a lot of you guys are trying to see if you can make your own tournaments and stuff. Like, for example, I realize that there aren't a lot of promotions going on for any tournaments so if you guys are interested in hosting any tournaments and you guys would like those tournaments to be promoted and you guys want promo videos or promo packages promo images as well you guys don't have anyone that you guys can do again guys my social media links are in the description guys you guys can hit me up and if you guys want videos edited as well you guys can hit me up social media links in the description guys we can talk about it we can arrange payments prices stuff like that and then we could just move on forward from then and you guys can get as much as you guys need and we can just move forward and you guys can have professionally edited stuff if you guys like my editing style or if you guys have your own editing style that you guys have in mind i can see if i can match that as close to 100 percent as possible and i can get you guys what you need so i'm just trying to see how much i can help you guys while in turn you guys try to see how much you guys can help me because i really do want to see the best for everyone the better the, the greater the competition is the more 
thriving the environment is and the more thriving the environment is is the better it is for me as i've said guys i love to be entertained i don't want to be the top top dog all the time in the genre that i am in even though i am in a completely separate genre from every other content creator that are jamaicans and even play fortnite for example because i do much more than just fortnite videos and even if i do fortnite videos i do things differently from the rest so i'm always in a completely different league from them compared to the other guys who are creative warriors or the guys who are straight streamers or the guys who are just um uploaders and content creators i'm always doing something different always making different moves always making it visually impressive so there's a completely different um light league that i'm in compared to most of the other content creators and i'm trying to see if i can extend an olive branch to most of these guys because aside from sir jacko i don't really see a lot of other youtubers who put out montages that i get excited for i know a lot of people like to put out montages and they like to ask me if i watch their montages and yes i do watch a lot of your montages guys but here's the honest truth if i'm not impressed i have nothing to comment about and I don't want to comment on someone's video and comment, give them any form of creative criticism on their video and them taking it negatively. So in order for me to avoid something like that, I just avoid commenting at all. So aside from Sir Jacko again, I don't really see any um, Jamaican YouTuber that actually puts out a montage that I'm actually excited for when I get that notification. So if you guys want to check out Sir Jacko's channel, um, link will be in the description. You guys probably watch it. Most likely you guys are going to complain saying that you guys don't see what I'm talking about. But trust me, you watch it a few times and then you guys will get it. Anyway guys, that's going to be doing it for this video. Don't forget like, share and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you guys can be notified every single time we drop a video. And if you guys didn't understand anything, I highly recommend you guys rewatch this video so you guys can get a better understanding of what I'm saying. This is Triple S Storm guys. Stay one with Tumbo. Take care.